Okay, today we're looking at painting uh, with acrylic in monochrome using the block-like structure we've got there. You can see this, the uh, brain, which we've drawn squares on. As you can see lots of uh, squares there to establish where the cubic form is initially. Uh, and then we've obviously done the drawing part of the brain there. What I'm going to do first of all is to establish a range. Now it's very important to make sure that when you're painting in monochrome and acrylic that you have the range established. We'll start with the white, adding the white down here, and then looking at adding black down the other end. Down here like so. And we're looking for the mid-tone range. Uh, You can see the middle. Sometimes it's trial and error trying to get that mid grey, but you know, many, many artists have used monochrome uh, in their work. Morton is one we've seen at the National Portrait Gallery, there's Caravaggio, there's an assortment of artists, Rembrandt, etc. And what we're trying to do here is just establish this range as we get a little bit dark as we go back. And as you can see here, Adding more black, so this will help us to establish three-dimensional form. And then the other side, we need to add obviously more white, make the grey lighter. Uh, as we're going all along that way, and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be painting wet on wet, and the difference between doing that and when we did watercolor is it. It wasn't possible to paint on top of watercolour because it would bleed. With acrylic painting, although the paint's dry quite quickly, and with oils, you can paint wet on wet. It gives a really nice loose effect. Okay, so there we've established the range, and now we're going to beam in and look at the picture of the brain here. And from the drawing, you can see the kind of different directional pulls on the actual uh, Brain itself, what we're going to do is take those out, we know roughly where the arrows were going, and we're going to be then looking at using the paint to create three dimensional structure using the cubic forms. Now, the way we do that, we can start by looking at creating, say, for instance, a mid tone just to start with looking at subtly uh, look at the mid-tone around here see it's going down and up here like so any light parts you can leave the white of the paper we do watercolor but obviously we're painting wet and wet you don't need to do that you can actually have the white afterwards it's a little dark tone here on the edges as you can see here the edge of the form You see full in the block like edges here of the cubes. We go around there and what I'm going to do is following the direction of this part of the brain here is to look at, as we said we had the directional pull, we're going to start to subtly add these marks down here. As you can see, a uh, nice part of the brain created there. And then what we can do also is to start looking at building the form on the edge here. And then we're going to be looking at folding those cubes that way, like so. You can see here, and you can see the kind of build up what's happening there. The only light parts are to be hit. I'm going to add a slight of colour in here. See, we're painting wet and wet here, as you can see, the actual acrylic. 
paint following the forms here. It's a bit lighter as the light hits it. But as you can see, not been worried to uh, add extra acrylic paint on here, like so. You can see the wonderful turn that's happening now on that part. And then we can go back and subtly create. You can see that's a little bit darker here. So we can add the darker tone around the edge here. Even a bit more than that. And then you can see the edges of the cubes are becoming more or less fit into the shadow and the slight edge. And then another darker tone here to show more form responses. Right underneath here. You can see the effect this is having on the actual form itself following those cubes. So by using a variety of tone, using quite aggressive marks with the acrylic, I mean I've seen some of Lucy and Freud's paintings and to be really honest with you, they, they stand out because they look right up and you can see the actual almost cubic like forms themselves. Uh, it's almost like the paint is coming off the page in different blocks and they really look wonderful. Again, let's see we're moving down this area so, and basically continuing to work the various cubes with the tonal, tonal range you've established and that will create three-dimensional form in acrylic using monochrome. Okay, that's the end of the demo.